Hello friends and family. Welcome to Time with Bell. How are you doing? Okay, so if this is your first time of tuning into my channel, thank you. And if you haven't subscribed, please click on the subscription button and the notification bell so that if any video comes across, you'll be the first person to watch. Okay, so let's get to the order of the day. Okay, so today I want us to talk about homosexual or homosexuality. So when you hear about homosexuality or homosexual, what comes into your mind? Your white mentality, what comes into it? Your African mentality, what comes into it? Okay, so that is what we are talking about today. Okay, so um, homosexual as um, having a sexual desire for the opposite sex okay like a female having it um says a desire for an uh, like uh, another female a man to a man and a woman to woman yeah that kind of thing yeah so and um trans transgender like a man trans into a woman and a woman trans into a man yes transgender and so trans woman trans man yeah that's the word right okay so um so this goes in connection with the uh what pope francis said i think um last week or so okay so whether he endorsed homosexual or he didn't endorse that is not what we are here but then i'm going to i'll be picking one of two quotes that he said that i mean will help us in our thoughts or our thinking okay so homosexual you have a friend who is a homosexual you have a family member who is a homosexual what are you going to do you have a sibling what are you going to do are you going to um chastise the person away from the family are you going to tease the person are you going to shame the person out of your family are you going to drive the person out of your family with a cutlass are you going to um, you take a microphone and announce that this person in your family is a homosexual or homosexuality? What are you going to do? Just put yourself in the shoes if this person was to be your family member, your sibling or whatever. What are you, What would be your response? I hope you, you won't drive them away, right? You won't chase them away with cutlass, right? You won't broadcast them, right? Yes same thing to you meeting somebody on the streets who is a homosexual that you're not going to do the same thing okay you're going to embrace them so when we have homosexual or whoever in our um, society please do not chastise them do not chase them do not drive them away okay let's encourage them for them to know that they are either on the wrong path okay let's bring them let's let's get them closer i know most religions um are against homosexual christians are against homosexual muslims are against homosexual like most religions are against homosexual and um our culture okay our culture is also against homosexual big time let's say the african culture we don't encourage homosexual at all but then that's not the case here the case here is to encourage them draw them closer to you so that you can you be able to cast your word across uh, you know homosexual is not good so get them closer to you show them the word show them the way and gradual counseling and everything might change your mindset and if you think they need prayers you help them in prayers okay we all have our own sexual desire we can be straight bisexual gay lesbian whatever but we, it's our own choices and our own preferences okay so you can't force somebody out of homosexual you can't force somebody to stop their sexual desire and come and choose your sexual desire. But what can we do? We can encourage them and put, if they don't know that it's wrong, 
get them closer to you and put your word across. Let them know, hey, this thing is not good. This is against the religion. It's against this. Like, just, I mean, just in a way to, I mean, to turn their hearts. In a way to turn their hearts. If they need prayers, you support them in prayers. If they need the word, you inculcate the word into their brain or their mind. Feed them with the word. The word of God, I mean. The word, the word of your culture that um, prevents or stops or don't encourage homosexual. Put it across if they haven't heard. Put it across. Encourage them to be out of it, but not push them away. So just imagine your sister or your sibling. Are you going to push them away because they are homosexual? No. If you push them, they are still going to go into. They are going to go deep into it because. A lot of people have their, their reasons are being um, abused by um, abusive marriage, abusive relationship, uh, physical emotion, everything. That all doubles up. That makes them have that sexual desire. Okay, If they've been in a relationship with a man and a man is doing that, like being abusing them and stuff, and they, have, they find solace in a woman, guess what is going to happen? They are going to run there. Okay, we might say, oh, that shouldn't be the reason why you have to be homosexual. There's a lot of men out there. But this is also their desire. This is also their thinking. Go, it, it, it goes a long way, physical, emotional, and everything, psychological, and everything. We might think, oh, why do you have to be a homosexual? Well, yeah, but we all have different mindsets. We all have a different thinking cap. That is also their thinking cap. That's also their mindset, okay? So what can we do? Okay, let's just, I mean, be supportive. Not supporting their acts per se, but be supportive and encourage them for them to be out of it if we don't agree with them. We can always not agree with them, right? Because you might be straight and they are such and it might feel so weird about it so you might not like it but then what can we do just be supportive draw them closer to you and put the word across i think that's the main goal put the word across and if they need prayers help them in prayers let them overcome such desire set mindset let them overcome it okay better than pushing them away okay so i mean i don't know why i'm, I'm into this topic but then, I, I hope this topic is going to help somebody out there, okay? Somebody out there is going to, I mean, it's, I know it's going to help somebody out there, okay? If you are watching me and you are going through said issue, please, you can shoot me a comment below and we'll see how best we can help you, I mean, in any way, like, in the Christendom, that is my mindset, Christendom thing, and, I mean, it will be a wonderful journey for you and no matter how the situation is please don't give up in life don't give up your sexual desire okay just keep on believing on god and i mean everything will be sorted out he's the ultimate goal okay let's put god first before any sexual desire thing okay so all right thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed please click on the subscription button for more videos and click on the notification bell for more um updates okay so welcome so this is time with bell thank you for watching don't forget to like comment share subscribe for more videos